What is going on LEGO investors? So today we're going to do a retirement checkup on a LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack. So Battle Packs are extremely popular for LEGO investing. I have invested in some Battle Packs, some have done well, and some have done horrible. This set, I believe, has done horrible, but I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this set. Do you have faith that it's going to go up, or do you think it's going to remain at its current level? Again, commenting helps this channel and it helps the community. But let's dive into it. So this battle pack is the Mandalorian battle pack, item number 75267. This battle pack was extremely popular with investors, a ton of people bought it, and I myself bought a ton of these. This was really kind of one of the very first few sets that I bought. I thought it was going to do really, really well. The Mandalorian was absolutely phenomenal, but after the second or I should say the second and third season have done horrible and it's kind of died off. The it it really just has put a lot of, put a bad taste in everyone's mouth and overall the Mandalorian sets don't do that great. So when I saw this set, I thought it was a sure winner simply for the fact that the minifigures look awesome. But I was new to investing and I didn't know a whole lot, but I learned from my mistakes. So this set came out in January 20 January 2nd, 2020, and retired March 23rd, 2022. It's got 102 pieces with a price per piece of 15 cents, which is really, really high. We want to be around 9 or 10 for retail. And it comes with four minifigures. Three of them are unique. The value of this set for the minifigures alone is $15.95. So that's really great if you bought it for retail for $14.99. I unfortunately bought it for retail for $14.99 and I regret doing so. It does have a value of $19.99, so I, I bought all mine, I believe, from Kohl's. They were really the only ones that had them in stock, and that's why I had to pay retail. I wish I, go, wish I got it on sale, because it would hurt less. But again, I was new to investing, and I was trying to really catch up, because it was the end of the year, and I was trying to get some good sets to really invest in. So these four minifigures, three of them are unique, one is included in two sets. So we got the female Mandalorian Tribe Warriors, got a value of $3.94. The female, uh, the green female Tribe Warrior is $3.83, which you would think the unique uh, version, it would be a lot more. It's shocking. The, the, the value is really low, but since it's a battle pack for 15 bucks, it, it's really nice that the, the value right now is higher than the retail. And then we got the orange uh, tribe warrior, four dollars and four cents, and the blue tribe warrior, four dollars fourteen cents. Yes, I know they have names. I'm just making it simple right now. So absolutely awesome figures. They look wonderful. I I think th it, that's really why you buy battle packs is for the minifigures, not the vehicles. The vehicle, it's just a little bonus, especially if you part out. You might be able to make a dollar or so on the vehicle. But overall, it's for the minifigures. But let's take a look at some previous sets, so or I should say some other battle packs, to see how they have done. And yeah, we've got uh, the 7914 Mandalorian battle pack, which, yes, it's a Mandalorian battle pack. You look at the retail, 12 bucks, value of 61. And that's kind of why a lot of people thought this set was going to do amazing. Again, for the previous Mandalorian battle pack, but also because the show was doing really, really well. It had a bright future in the Star Wars universe. So everyone thought investing in this set would really, really pay off. But unfortunately, it has not. So we're roughly nearing two years in retirement. And I got to say, it is a bad investment. But some other sets or some other battle packs we're going to take a look at include the Jedi and Clone Trooper Battle Pack. You got a $15 retail, value of 50 Absolutely phenomenal. We got the Trunk. Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack, $13, retails for $120. Obviously, these were different times, so these are insane prices because it was early on with LEGO. Anything prior to 2018, or I should say 2020, did fairly decent, and a lot of these sets wouldn't do as well. They would still do well, but not, not at these levels. And then we got some other Clone... Trooper Battle Packs, which look at the price, absolutely phenomenal. Grand Slams, if you were 
an old investor investing in these sets, you made a ton of money if you sold them at these, these levels. So a lot of people thought this set was going to do the same. We thought it was going to hit 30 maybe even $40. It was talked about on Facebook quite a bit. I remember just everyone talking about it, how it was selling out. And like I said, I bought mine from Kohl's. I kind of had some FOMO. I just bought a ton. I think I bought 50 And I, I just regret, I, re, I regret buying them, honestly. So let's take a look at how they're doing right now on Amazon. Then I'll explain why I regret buying them and how I'm going to proceed forward with battle packs. So on Amazon, we've got it going for $30, which is honestly decent. But remember, you pay a lot of fees with Amazon. And Amazon is a lot higher in their pricing compared to other locations. So let's take a look at eBay. We've got $19 plus 5 shipping. $19 plus 5 shipping. So overall... $20 around the 20 $20 range not not great I, I really wish it was $30 on eBay and a little higher on Amazon that would make me feel better but overall why I regret buying this set is because even if I put them at retail people are not buying them there's just no demand again I sell locally not online I do that for specific reasons just so I don't get scammed obviously as you're aware I've been out of work for a year and this is kind of one of my side hustles that keep things flowing and I I I tried listing these at retail just to see if I could get some quick cash so I can invest elsewhere to make up money that I lost essentially with this set and unfortunately people do not buy this set I've only sold I believe it was 10 so far since these have retired and the, it might be good, it might be bad, depending on how you look at it. I consider it bad because I believe it was, if I remember correctly, it was through one person wanted to buy them, and they were doing something specific. So if I didn't have that one person, I wouldn't have sold any. So overall, locally, these types of battle packs do not do well. So going forward, I am going to invest in only really clone troopers that include droids, uh, stormtroopers, anything clone trooper related that helps with army building. And that's why I, I was a beginner and I didn't really realize. This was, this is more of a one-off set. People aren't going to buy 10 of these sets for army building. Nobody wants to really build a Mandalorian army. Obviously there are people out there that have done it. But overall, army building is massive money because you have to buy really a ton of sets to build a massive army. And Mandal Mandalorian battle packs just do not fall into that picture. So going forward, I am going to invest my or change my strategy to only really do clone troopers, you know, droids, stormtroopers, but primarily clone troopers. That's where the money is for army building. It's not in Mandalorian battle packs. Maybe one day down the line, we'll actually see, I'll be able to sell this for $30, $30, but honestly, it's going to be very, very slow. I really get no nibble, nibbles on these, nobody asking about it, and I've got it for a great price. Like I said, I tried retail at one point, but I upped it. I'd rather keep them, not really take a loss, because when you factor in gas and everything, I'll, I'll essentially take a loss. But I've got them listed for $20 right now, and they're, they just don't sell. And it's, I, I know it's because of a local factor. If I did on eBay and sold online, I would be able to move some of these. But again, I don't like, I'm, I'm not taking the risk. I do not want to get scammed. A lot of people think I'm being overly cautious. But really, when you're investing in Lego and selling online, you need to move enough inventory to cover your losses. Because if you haven't been scammed and you're saying, well, you should you should invest or sell online, you're going to get scammed eventually. And what happens? You're out that money. It is so, so easy to scam people online. I, I have a side eBay business that I sell other sets or other goods, and I get scammed every so often. That's just part of the business, and I'm not willing to take that risk with Lego. So overall, this has been a dud, but sadly, it was my own mistake. I was a beginner, and I want you to be aware of this. I want you to learn from my mistakes. Understand that, hey, maybe don't go hard on certain sets. Look at if they fit into a category. 
like army building or city building where people will pay big money and buy multiple sets, this is unfortunately a set that people will just buy one of. So it is a slow sell. People aren't building building massive armies of Mandalorians. Yes, I'm sure someone has done it on YouTube, but when you're selling locally, parents want to get this for their kids, they're ultimately passing and choosing other sets, like Harry Potter kid-friendly sets. But adults building armies, they buy the other clone trooper sets, and that's where I make my money. So this has been a big dud for me. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this set. Do you think it was a wise investment, or do you think I should have only bought maybe 10, and or overall just skipped this set? Like I said, I paid retail, which was a mistake. It would have been a lot easier if I picked it up for around 12, anywhere from 10 to 12 dollars, but I was I had FOMO and I was trying to get as many sets as I possibly could because I was just starting out. So learn from my mistakes. I I really that's why I make these videos is to help people earn money and I hope you kind of see that not all Star Wars sets make money. There's a big fallacy right now that if you buy Star Wars sets or clearance sets that you're going to make money when Lego investing. That is furthest from the truth. Those days are long gone. We are well past that. We are in a Lego recession right now. Almost, I want to say, entering a Lego depression. The times have changed. There's no easy money. And unfortunately, you have to be smart with your investing. You have to do your research. I always, always emphasize people to do their own research and really not take what I say to heart and follow this. I'm just a guy on YouTube. You should really never listen to any, anyone on YouTube, but you should do research. Seek out multiple sources for finding information and then make a best guess judgment. But ultimately, you're gambling. That's what it comes down to. But anyways, I'm kind of ranting right now. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. Definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But as always, Please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.